What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna do the Necromancer for what weapons you need to upgrade and what to gamble for with Kadala at the start of season 27. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so starting off guys, as you know, when the new season starts, you're gonna be able to do a challenge rift and you're gonna get all the rewards that we have up on screen. You're gonna use all of these mats, including the 475 blood shards, to be able to craft one, Le or one rare weapon up to legendary and then extract the power into the cube and then you're also going to be able to spend all those juicy blood shards to get a couple items here and hopefully we get pretty lucky so let me show you what we're talking about for the necromancer for season 27 so starting off the main thing that you're going to run a roll for is two-handed scythes okay you can craft a bunch of these now for the necromancer there is only four options that you're going to be able to get starting off um, at level one now shout out to Rax because he did do a level up uh, example with the necromancer in a record time of 35 minutes which is absolutely insane so it just goes to show you how powerful the necromancer is with starting at level one and getting these powers early on to just jumpstart you all the way to 70. again guys all these guys are to help boost you to 70 as fast as possible okay so Starting off, you have the Petrified Spike. Bone Spear costs uh, 40 Essence, but deals crazy amount of damage. So this one's really good. You can do Nahir's Black Death, which each different poison skill you use increases damage by 76%. Not bad. It's definitely the weakest out of the four. So we're going to go through that. Uh, Blood Blade or Blood Tide Blade. Very, very good. Death Note of it does increase damage for each enemy within 25 yards. And as you guys know, I'll link above, we did do a Death Nova, Blood Nova build for Season 27 during the PTR, which is probably going to be one of the main builds that I'm going to be playing in the next season because finally Necromancer actually has something that's very good on top of Rathmas. So Blood Tide Blade, very good if you get this one. Next is Relina's Shadow Hook. Probably, I would probably say that's one of the better ones to get, but it, it like I still think Blood Tide Blade is better for just future builds. But Relina's Shadow Hook, uh, every point of maximum essence increases your damage by 0.5%. And then Bone Spikes generate additional um, essence for each enemy hit. Very, very good. So, you know, if you have 200 essence, you know, that's half, that's 100% damage increase, which is still pretty good. Okay, so in order, I would probably say definitely try to get the Blood Tide Blade. Now, again, guys, when you're when you you know make some level 70 rare items and you upgrade them, you only can do it once. So RNG is going to be a factor. So you're just going to get one of these four. Whichever four you get is good, but I am going to put in priority which ones I hope that you get. So Blood Tide Blade definitely number one. Get that. The uh, Petrified Spike number two. Then Shadow Hook and then Black Death. Okay. Now. Going on to use our juicy blood shards uh, for the Necromancer. The first thing that you want to get is to gamble for the, the gloves of essence or the grasp of essence. It's the only gloves that you can get at level one. You start using it at level 16. The best item that you get because you get increased corpse explosion damage. This alone can carry you the majority of the way all the way to 70 this alone can but you want to have this anyway just in addition to other stuff because if you have any of these abilities from these sites you kill stuff it doesn't hurt to have the grass of essence then you corpus explode everything just to deal additional damage this is going to get you to 70 even faster so that's number one definitely get that these are pretty easy to get i think i rolled and got them in three tries next if you have enough shards left go for rings i know it costs Excuse, I know it costs 50 per ring, but at level one, you can get the circle of, I'm, I'm a butcher this, now Jules Evil. You can raise an additional skeleton mage and they last uh, additional two seconds. This is solid if you want to do the, um, the rats or the mage build um, all the way through. You don't necessarily have to, but this is an option if you do want to go with this and you're able to do the blood mages. It's really cool, cool build, super fun, but you know, it's an option. Next, I would probably go after the ring uh, last, but the next thing I would go after the grasp is probably the Resilus Violation. You get these at level 31, but they're really good. Skeleton Mage gains the effect of the Gift of Death and Singularity Runes, and you gain 39% damage reduction or up to 50% damage reduction if your essence is not full. This is great. So, you know, if you get this and the ring, your mages can do a lot, your Skeleton Mages. So a rat build could be really good. Um, all the way to 70 but these are just some options again guys you can always go with pox folds in the legs you can definitely go with 
uh, Leoric's Crown or Leoric's Ring for EXP. But overall, go for a two-handed Scythe. Any one of these will do. And then also get the Grasp of Essence because this alone can just carry you all the way to the end with all of the corpse explosions. So that's what we have for the Necromancer for the best starts on weapon upgrades and gambling at Kadala. So I hope this video did help you guys out. If it did, make sure to drop a like. That helps out the channel in the video in the search engine. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. All the love you've been given has been fantastic. We still got more classes to do, so hang out and be prepared for those. Um, and, of course, as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.